Hello there. Welcome to this uh, little look at a beautiful two-part primary song by my student Latricia Booth. Latricia participated in our first primary writing workshop, primary songwriting workshop, and uh, she wrote two songs actually during the workshop. And this one, um, she she did a two-part song, kind of like a Janice Cat Perry, a child's prayer, which is very ambitious. It's 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 difficult to write a two-part song like this. Um, it, it has its challenges, but she did a beautiful job. And um, I'm going to attempt to <laughs> play this for you in a way that can give you an idea of what it sounds like. Unfortunately, I cannot split myself into multiple parts. And I uh, unfortunately don't have the technology to do all the overdubbing that one could do in a recording studio for you. Um, so I'll do my best to, to play some of this. Let's look at the text first. <clears throat> so the first line... I believe in Jesus. I know he's always there. I believe that he loves me. I can talk to him in prayer. I know he is my savior. He suffered for my sins. And if I follow him in faith, I'll live with him again. It's a beautiful text. Now the second part, when I am tempted, he can help me resist. When I repent with humble heart, he takes my guilt. When I am frightened, when I have doubts, or when I feel sad, Jesus will always help. I only need to ask. Okay, let's play it through. Um, I'll play the piano part and try to capture most of the first line and then come back and uh, play both vocal parts for you so that you'll have the piano part in your ear a bit um, already, okay? Uh, here it goes. It's going to be a little bit slow and probably not perfect, but um, bear with me. Here we go. I believe in Jesus. I know he's always there. I be scrolling. I be So the second verse... <clears throat> together um, the first part an octave higher than the second part so you can hear the difference here it goes one two three sorry let's do that part again
this little coda is a nice different ending here. Again. So she extends the cadence by delaying it with this uh, this lovely two chord on top of a tonic F two chord tonic F. Two seven. Isn't that lovely? This is this is truly lovely. Um, she did such a good job of keeping the parts unique. The first verse is its own melody, and the second is its own, and it has its own rhythmic mantra. The little eighth rest that keeps coming back. And on the second page. And then they kind of interweave uh, with if I follow him in faith. And then see, so see live this this downbeat. The upper voice is above, and then they switch. It's very very well written. And this is this is what happens in the primary songwriting workshop we we come together and we, we share our ideas like what gosh if i could write one song that would stick with my grandchildren and this is actually a very personal song for latricia you can see it's dedicated written for archer and shepherd her grandsons she wants so bad for her, these boys to know that she has a testimony and it's here it's it's now engraven on paper in and hopefully in their hearts as they learn it and becomes part of their lives she's got this testimony now in sound in something that can be played again and again and again and refreshed and stick in the memory um that's the real goal we so when when you if if you decide to enroll in a primary writing workshop with me yes it's about the notes to a certain degree, but it's not about the notes. The notes are not first. The, the intent is first. What are we trying to portray? Who are we trying to bless? How are we trying to bless them? What do we want them to walk away knowing and feeling? Um, what do we want to linger with them? And you bring those thoughts and you, you start finding the right words. And I give you some techniques and we work on them together. You're not left alone. <clears throat> and we, we craft those thoughts and we, we work them and we massage them and we, we, we sculpt those words into a, a text that's settable, that's, that's got some rhythm to it, that can be melodicized. And then, and then we spend a, a great deal of time getting the tune, getting the melody clear and memorable and sticky a sticky melody that sticks in the mind sticks in the heart then we spend a good amount of time making sure the harmony colors that melody with the right feeling like the way latricia did when she gets to this spot at the fermata i'll follow him in faith it's like ah this kind of the, the B natural, the chromatic note there does that. Or look up here on he suffered for my sins. We get a dissonant chord, a diminished chord to depict the suffering. We spend the time making sure our harmony aligns with the feel and meaning of the text and the melody. And then there's this warm, I'll live with him again. See the D flat. That D flat comes from this idea of borrowed harmony, which we, we talk about a little bit to help you uh, get the a bit of nostalgia. It's like it's almost like we're feeling our premortal existence a little bit. We want to get back there, right? So we we take the time to really think through what are you trying to say in your song, and then I help you to find the notes that help you achieve that that feeling in your voice. Um, that's that's the whole essence of the primary songwriting workshop.